Uh oh. Oh, oh wait, I didn't check my uh, volumes. Hello. Uh uh. I think this is good. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Oh my gosh, so many memberships. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the memberships. This is for pogging in the Niji Melody Relay. Oh shoot. Wait, I pogged? Let's go, poggers. Well, hello everyone. Wait, I did tweet, right? Yeah, I did tweet. <laughs> How are you? Um, so... My sleep schedule... <laughs> Wait, I'm like breathing into my mic. My sleep schedule... Has been... Uh, it's... it's uh, I I think it's better than a lot of my other days. I think so. Today I woke up at like when did I wake up? I think I woke up at like four a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up at like 4 a.m. So it's like... Yeah. I guess I'll wake up. I'll just... I'll just live a... Live a boomer... Boomer morning style. Oh my god, so many Bravo stickers, thank you. I'll live a... I'll live a boomer morning style. So... By 9, 9 p.m., as normal humans would be, uh, I am a little sleepier. <laughs> it's boomer, boomer bedtime right now, so I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling a bit, <laughs> I'm feeling it a little, but it's just gonna be a, a good old, good old chatting stream today, so. We haven't had these in a while. Um, I mean, in other streams in the past, like, I definitely had just, like, moments, like, you know, like, after streams that I would just chat, but given my throat situation, I haven't been able to do that recently, so I kind of wanted to just have a stream where I just chat. So yeah, that's pretty much what today's chat's gonna be. Hi, sure today's my birthday. It's the best gift that I can watch your stream today. Oh, oh my gosh. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great one. Thank you. But yeah. Today's just a just a chatting day. About to chat about whatever the heck I want. And um, I don't know how long I'm planning to stream today, but uh I think, I think I should be good. <laughs> Tomorrow I do have, um, anime impulse, but it's like later in the day. So have you eaten breakfast? Breakfast? In the morning. Yeah. <laughs> in the morning. Uh, I ate breakfast in the morning. What did I eat? I ate... Kimchi... And rice. I think. Yeah. What time is it there? Oh, I live in... I live in... The East Coast... Of NA. I'm a East Coaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I saw a chat earlier asking, um, what do you call it? How I thought of the set list for Niji Melody time. Um, you know, when I first asked for the set list during Niji Melody time, I was still like, okay, so, well, before I, before I like mention all that, um, to preface all this, when I was asked to join Niji Melody time, it was like back when I was like, at the peak of like my throat condition being like the worst thing ever. Like it was it was it was like 
the the phase like like I think it was like a week after I started having the cough and it was like the worst time ever uh it was really bad um like it's, it's it's a lot better now it's a lot better now for sure but back then it was like really really bad and then but then me back then when I like thought of songs to sing during my set list or like during Ninja Melody time right when I was thinking of my set list I I kind of expected for my cough and like my throat to get better by the time I sang because it was like I think it was like months ahead like when I was actually singing so I made my set list then right I made my set list then and then it's 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 kind of complicated right so I I I can't like, just randomly change my set list halfway through, you know, that kind of deal. So then that ended up being the set list. Um, honestly, apart from Slow Downer, I think, I think those songs I could pretty much sing. Uh, not, I could still sing them if, even if I weren't to be in my best condition. Like it wouldn't be as as good, obviously, but it's not gonna like crash and burn. Except for Slow Downer, that kind of crashed and burned. But, but yeah. You know, one thing though, also, while I was singing, uh, this is like very nerdy singing talk, but like, I think I sang too, too nasal. Or like my chest voice wasn't supported as well, so I sounded more nasal. Cause I also haven't been doing a karaoke stream for a while, so it was like, <laughs> <laughs> it, it has been a while since I sang in a karaoke stream, so it definitely, if it was definitely like a, what do you call it? I was getting back into the flow of things. So, so yeah, I definitely learned some things from my last karaoke, which I probably could apply to my next one. I mean, you practice, right? Yeah, I practiced and, th and then I realized that I couldn't sing Slow Down or Live. <laughs> but I did it anyways because um, uh, I had time. Because I rushed through the first four songs. Because I, I, I just felt it, you know? Is your voice okay now? Uh, compared to before. Uh, well, it depends on your, what, what your definition of okay is. It's not the best, but it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you still get coughs? Yeah. I do. I mute every time I cough though. And it's not it's not like it's not terrible. Did you see the doctor? Yeah. Well, I went to see the doctor, but then like it's it's healing, right? It's healing and it's getting better and the doctor checked for like my throat and like my breathing and stuff and everything's fine. There's no issues like the cough doesn't come because of like my throat or like my my like breathing being bad like my throat feels fine it's just that I have a cough they said it was fine I mean I, like I I felt it was like fine it's just, it's just that it's just lasting is it seasonal no I got sick once um the week I took a break or like no, I took a break and then, at, you know, the, the, the break I had after the week break, like I got sick. And then it's just been, been a thing. It's not a seasonal thing. If it's seasonal, it's way too long. It's just, it's just the, it's just, I got sick. That's all it is. You touched grass and you got sick. No, I didn't even touch grass. It was my, it was my parents who got sick and then I got sick. So yeah, I contracted their sickness, their illness. 
Yeah. The doctors couldn't figure it out. Well, there's nothing to figure out. It's just it's just a cough that's like, and I'm re I'm like recovering. So yeah. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Did your sisters also get sick? Um... I think they did. Was it Ligma? M potentially. <laughs> I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't get diagnosed by a medical professional if it was Ligma or not, but... Me personally, there is there is a there is a chance that it could have been Ligma. Could have been. There is a chance. High shoe school starting in a few days, but I'm scared to make new friends and no new people. The friends I'm used to uh fr the friends that I used to be with are are now broken, you know it always Always happens. I don't know why. Do you have any advice? You wait. The friends I I'm used to being with are now broken. Huh. Uh. I think if you're scared to make new friends, you don't have to make friends. You know, <laughs> like it, 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 if you're scared, then then don't. <laughs> like, you know, a lot of people are so like worried over. Well, I mean, it's it's nice to have some friends, but like. A lot of times, like... Well, hmm, I don't know. Like... I I kind of felt okay with not having, like... A lot of, lot of friends, because I had, like... A few friends that I was, like, very close. So, like, I never had the... The feeling of, like, Oh my gosh, I'm in a new place, I need to make more friends, kind of deal, you know? Like, obviously, like, I kind of naturally became friends with, like, all of Niji Yen, pretty much. But, like, apart from that, I don't think, like, like, it wasn't a rush or anything. Like, you know, obviously, like, in, with a Niji Yen, I'm like, oh, it, it'll be nice if he could be friends and stuff, you know? But, like, I never really, like, forced, forced it. And, like, if you're worried about making new friends, like... That's that that means that means you're kind of like I don't know it it feels it feels weird if to me it feels weird if the friendship isn't organic right like if you're forcing to try to make friends like is that really friendship that might be something to think about but uh, but I, honestly you shouldn't worry about it too much. I don't think you should worry about too much. Like, if you're worried about making friends, uh, you should ask yourself why you're worrying. I guess. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like a professional in like sociology or anything, but that's what I think. Yeah. Hey, thank you for the super chat. Hashu, do you have any anime or song recommendations? Yo. Yo, uh... Hope in the Dark by Luxium. Yo. <laughs> that, that, that song's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, for, for anime, I want to know recommendations. Because, like... Well, I mean... I feel like I would like see these recommendations and I'm, and I'm 
I can't talk. Like, I'll see these recommendations for these anime, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I already had that recommended to me like 20 times, and I still haven't gotten around to watching it. Because I always forget, at the moment, I, I think I became too much of a zoomer. Like, <laughs> I'm literally like on YouTube like 24 7, and I don't go anywhere else. I'm just on YouTube. I don't go off YouTube. I'm on YouTube. Like, I watch... Like, I watch, like, tech tubers. I watch... Oh... Uh, what am I watching? Let me just... See, let me just look at my YouTube history right now. What do, what do I watch? What does Shuyamino watch for his YouTube? YouTube. Uh, let's see. Let's see. History. What does Shuyamino watch? Niji Sanji streams? Oh, I was like checking my stream archive to see if I if I liked my stream, you know, pretty important time for me. Reflecting on my past streams, see if I could do stuff better. Uh Linus Tech Tips. Uh Niji Sanji streams. Niji Sanji clips, VTuber clips. Uh, Dollar Tree over the counter shelf organization. I don't know why I clicked on that one. Uh, Niji Sanji clips. Tech videos. Oh yeah, I watched the. I watched like the other routes of. Undertale after I beat the genocide route. I watched that. I watched that. It was it was it was interesting to see everything that I've missed. Tech videos? Yeah. I love I love watching tech videos of like computer builds. Oh, I was looking for a bunch of like computer accessories because uh i was like yo do i want some computer accessories that i've i'm like missing out on but i couldn't really see, find anything that i was very interested in were any of the undertale endings surprising surprising oh i think the fa my uh when you try to spare Sans a after the first part. <laughs> what was it like get dunked on? Oh sorry, spoilers, but in the in the genocide route, there's like when when you try to spare Sans, he dunks on you. Or something. <laughs> yeah, yo. I'm low-key a little upset that chat told me to, like, not spare him. Like, like, I would have wanted to experience that live. But... But, yeah. SMH. Anyways. What else did I watch? Oh, accessories for... for... House... your house. Uh... Videos about TV, TVs. I don't know when I would even buy a new TV, but I was just looking at TVs. TVs, gaming setups. Yeah, I've been looking at, at a lot of these setup videos recently. I wanna watch, I wanna see like what people do for their computer setups. See if I could like, well, first of all, clean my desk. Oh, maybe I was watching this to, like, gain motivation to actually clean my desk. But I never did. Oh, yeah, I also saw... What do you call it? Mista's stream. For for his, like... He was seeing his viewers. His gamer setups, I guess. Oh, maybe that's why I started watching all these gamer setups. <laughs> I was like, oh... Wait, gamer setups. I want to declutter and everything. That's probably why.
Yeah. Did you see the Yaminion one? Oh yeah, I, I did, I did. It's crazy how... Yo, themed setups are so crazy to me. Like, everything I have on my desk is like... So... Mix and match. Because, uh... When I buy things, I buy not based off of looks, but based off of like... Their functionality. But if I were to buy stuff off of looks and stuff, I'd probably try to like, at least like... Have a color scheme going, maybe. I don't know. Mine's all over the place. The Luca mouse pad? Yo. That- that thing... That thing only being a fan made? We should change that. We should change that. <laughs> sure, you're too responsible with your money. I cannot relate. Responsible with my money? Well... I don't know if you would consider me responsible. I just don't spend. I just- I- I- I just don't spend. あ、ちょっとスパシャルスタレーします。20メロディーとても良かったです。そこで習君が初めて聞いたボカロ曲を知りたいです。ボカロ老人会のお話聞かせてください。私が初めて聞いたのは人中アリスでした。ああ。Th
Wait, let me make sure that's the Kikuo song. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Oh, it is. It's like the... I know the... I, I sort of know. Yo, a lot of songs I just know of and I don't sing or like know well enough to sing. But like, I know the... Aishite, Aishite, Aishite. That one? I know that one. Watch out for your throat. Oh no, my throat's fine. I just have a cough. Like the doctor looked at it and my throat's completely fine. It's just that I have a cough. Bleeding. Oh, Hashu, I am drinking your drink at Anime Impulse now. Looking forward to see, seeing you tomorrow. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if advertising now does anything, but I am showing up at a convention tomorrow. Um, and the convention is, is called Anime Impulse. I'll be there. You don't need a warm up for these notes. Uh, not head voice or the yeah head voice. It's just, oh, it's just, it's just that. <laughs> oh. Like, that's not that hard. <laughs> but if I, if I have to sing like seriously, I probably need to do warm ups, you know? Bow, 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 bow. Oh, thank you for the membership. Thank you. Good luck at Anime Impulse. Yeah. You know, uh, what do you call it? It's the first time I'm ever doing a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. So like, I'm, I'm talking one on, or one on one ticket. So whoever, how many, however people, what, what do you, well, wait, what am I saying? However many people there might be for, uh, per, per ticket. That would be... Are you nervous? You know, a lot of times, like... I get asked if I'm nervous, and... If I were to say... Am I nervous or not nervous? I feel like I'm, like... A little nervous. But it's not enough for me to, like... Feel much. Like, I definitely feel... Some sort of, like... A little bit of nervousness... A little bit of nervousness, like... Like a little bit, maybe, but it's not. It's not like that much. I, I'm not that nervous, I guess. A lot of times. Do you know beforehand how many people you're going to talk to? Uh, as many people who shows up who bought the ticket. Pretty much within a given time frame. What would you do when you're nervous? Uh. Just, just do it. <laughs> like I, I don't, I don't do anything to deal with my nervousness. I just, I just do it. And if I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Yeah. I think some people might cry. You know, apparently, from what I've heard, is that like when they see, like this is like other people. Like when, when, when fans see them, like. It's too fast and like too of the moment. Like they can't, they can't cry until like afterwards. <laughs> like it's really fast. Sadly, like there's like limited time and limited like tickets and stuff. So it's like they have to, they have to say what they want to say within the given time, you know? That is it. この間会社の人たちと絡わけに行った時私がホープインザダークを歌ってたら最近入ったバイトのん最近入ったバイトの子が誰を知らんですかって言ってきたので嫁人ですだよって答えと伝えたらその子も嫁人ですだったらしく最
A part-timer that came in recently said, Who's your Oshi? And, <laughs> and I answered, I'm a Yaminian. And apparently they're a Yaminian too, and now we say A when we greet each other. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. Thank you for the super chat. Are you watching? Bite on the Komo. Mite mas ka? Kutanakte desu yo. That's crazy. Doxed. <laughs> Luxium fan. Doxed. <laughs> <laughs> I met a Yamini at my school too. Wait, you know, that's cr you know, you know, that's crazy that like there's enough VTuber fans to the point where you would just randomly be in a place and there's a chance that there's another fan. What? That's that's crazy. That's crazy. See, you know. The person who was worrying if you could make friends, just just like low-key have some like Luxium merch. And if they're also a fan, just nod. <laughs> if you're a fan, just just nod. Just nod at them. And say something like Say something like nodders or something. <laughs> I feel like A is too, too like low key. It, it has to be something more iconic. Some, some, some kind of code word. <laughs> or li no, like literally go up and just say, do you know Niji Sanji? <laughs> hey, uh, do you know Niji Sanji? Yeah, yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, me too. Just nod. <laughs> like the like I think I mean if you're willing to make Niji Sanji f f like f watching friends I guess <laughs> that's scary yeah like oh my gosh a Niji Sanji fan in the wild oh my gosh it's so scary no 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 it, no actually if they are having Niji Sanji merch on their uh on their like whatever they're wearing just the next day just like you put on your niji sanji merch and just like show it a little you know or like like set your phone screen background to something niji sanji and be like oop oop <laughs> just go like oop and then just carry along you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're worried about making friends, just do that. Just do that. Exactly, exactly. Start a VTuber fan club in your school. <laughs> I feel like that would like crash and burn or something. You know, it's kind of fun though to be like a fan and like what if you like start analyzing like the mind of a VTuber clipper. How to clip a VTuber clip. How to... <laughs> yeah and then there, there's gonna be like A lot of different stuff. There's a lot of stuff surrounding like VTuber fans too. Like analyzing the VTuber fan culture. Niji Sanji 2. <laughs> you know? Well, uchi no daigaku Niji Sanji dokokai atta na. Wait, wait, it, it already exists? Niji Sanji, Niji Sanji Club? It exists. Oh my gosh. You literally have school, 
school like festivals and you just the school festival you just have a poster of your Oshi. <laughs> Imagine. Oh my gosh! Just join the club! You want friends? Jo join the club! <laughs> Whoa, let's go! If you're scared, don't worry. VTuber fans. <laughs> Mecharu, <laughs> wait, really? I'll do a VTuber club at work. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Wait, oh my gosh. It's a popular club. Let me join. Yo. That's great. That's great. I wonder what you what you do in those those clubs. Do you like? I guess you could be like, "Hey, I drew fan art of my of my my Oshi today. Uh, I'm gonna share it with the club. Take a look. <laughs> like, hey, I I clipped my my Oshi. Do y'all like this clip? Take a look. <laughs> group watch. Yo, it, it would sound like so much fun to group watch streams like in a room and just like play it on the TV just to group watch a stream. That sounds like so much fun. That sounds fun. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm just gonna search VTuber Club. VTuber Club University. <laughs> oh, shoot. University of Tokyo VTuber Fan Club. Oh, it, it exists! It exists! Let's go! <laughs> Yo. Oh, I guess there's a lot of like, also like anime clubs that also are interested in VTubers, so they like adopt them. Right? Right? They, they'd like adopt those kind of like things now. Like anime clubs would have like VTuber clubs, you know? <laughs> Viking audio. Wow. That's fun. That's fun. What the heck? I can't join those clubs anymore because I'm on this side. <laughs> I want to join a club. Not well, I mean I'm not in school anymore but I want to I want to join a club. What clubs were you in, in in school? I was at my I was at my school's uh, orchestra. I played the violin. I wasn't good at it though. Second violin, baby. <laughs> Do you still play? My violin is not functional anymore. can be a guest in the club oh yeah you're gonna have me in a zoom meeting 
Be like, hello. Hello, it's me, Shuyamino. <laughs> Not functioning. Yeah, my bow bow hair like all fell out. I don't have any bow hair. My violin bow has uh balded. No hair. Hey yo, same same second violin gang. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> like you? No, not like me because I have hair. No. Hey, Shu, is your thumbnail the played up one? You know, I didn't intend it to be, but YouTube has been so buggy recently. I changed the thumbnail like three times, but if it's still played up, then uh, I, I tried. I tried. I tried my best. Will there ever be a shoe violin stream? Uh, if there is a shoe violin. <laughs> I can't stream without a violin, so th I need a violin. You know. Watashi no mari no tomachi no gobi ga desu wa ni somatte shimatta no desu ga nani ka sore ni taikou dekiru gobi tsukutte itadakemasen ka? De gozansu. <laughs> 別に何も新しくないんですけど <笑>私もセカンドバイオリン今やってます Oh! Second Violins! Let's go! Should you play the piano? Uh, I know how to play one song and that's it The, the only instruments I know how to play is the violin, somewhat the recorder, and uh, that's about it. I, I don't know any other instrument. I don't know any other instrument. That's all it. That's all I got. Like I could play other instruments very poorly, but like I don't. I don't think I consider that as playing an instrument. <laughs> and like my recorder skills are like very minimal too. Like I know how to play Megalovania and like, yeah, and like a few other songs, and that's about it. Like, I could pretend to claim that I could play drums or something, but like, it's literally just me smacking one of the the cymbals and that'll be it. So it won't be actual, actual playing or anything. Learn the kazoo. You know, I actually don't know the last time I used the kazoo. Try a musical instrument stream. <laughs> a recorder for like a whole stream. I don't think I could do anything like that. Like, <laughs> it'd be really, really hard. Especially when copyrights involved with songs. You know. Niji Sanji songs on recorder. DMCA kun. Yeah, pretty much. You know, like 
That's the main thing, I think. Hi, Shu, this is my... F Hi, Shu, this is my first super chat. Uh, I felt bad that you never got your vanilla ice cream from Play Up, so here you go. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, do you ever write your own song? Own song? I don't think I have. I don't really know any music stuff. Yeah, you wrote Torch in the Dark. Oh, like lyrics? I've done some lyrics, lyric writing, but not songs or like composing. I've written lyrics, but, but yeah. I haven't I haven't done composing before. Yeah, I like one day I kind of got interested in like what it's all about. I watched one YouTube video and I was like, yeah, that was enough for for today. And then I didn't do anything past that. <laughs> I I didn't have anything past that. I was like, yeah. Cool music theory. Uh, this happens. That happens. Cool, and then I never touched it. Yeah. Were you a Healy kid? Yeah. Oh, yo. You know, I wanted to be. A Healy's kid? So bad. <laughs> Yo, I wanted to be a Healy's kid so bad. I wanted Healy's so bad. I wanted Healy's so bad, but I didn't. Or like, I wasn't privileged as a child to own a set of Healy's. I don't think. So I bought Healy's after I became an became a adult. <laughs> I got myself adult sized Healy's, and they'll fit me until like I get really really old or something. I don't know. I got adult Healy's. I bought them, and I'm like cool. But I don't go outside, so I just have a set of Healy's that never touched outside in my room right now yeah did you wear them like uh twice indoors <laughs> i touched them twice indoors and i was like cool and then i was like so now now what? <laughs> it's not like I'm going outside with these. Uh, or I don't have any plans to right now. So, um, but... But yeah, I got Healy's, you know. Uh, for the, for the person who super chatted, I want to be responsible with money like you are, Shu. Um, uh, you may want to reconsider. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, recently, like, a lot of things that were, uh, a lot of things that were, like, dreams for me in terms of, like, monetary things that I couldn't do as a kid, I could do now, which makes me really happy. Yeah, it makes me really happy. Uh, would you use them to go to parks? Going to parks? Going outside? Me? Hmm. 
You know, that never crossed my mind. <laughs> that didn't really cross my mind. That didn't cross my mind. Wow. Wow. When was the last time you touched grass? Uh... I, uh... Uh... <laughs> last week? Last week? What did I do last week? You know... Like... I feel like I've got... I went outside, like... Recently? But I can't remember if that was the one. That was the last time, you know? Like, I know I did recently, but I don't know if that was the last one. How do you not know? <laughs> I'm, I'm a streamer. <laughs> After Among Us? Was that the last time, though? That's like a while back. That was a while back. You can go out after this? It's night. Why would I go outside in the- at night? Last Saturday? That was last Saturday? I honestly don't remember. No, last Saturday was the 24-hour singing relay. I had to sing. But I touched grass the week before that, but was that the last time I touched grass? Has it been that long? No, no, no. Wait, no. I touched grass on... Uh... Last Thursday. I went outside last Thursday. I did, I did. Yeah. It's not that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's pretty good. Pretty good for Shi Amino standards. It's not that good. <laughs> well, okay, okay, okay. You have to understand the Shu Amino standard. I, I think, like... Well, I mean, I'm not going to force you to, like, know this standard or anything, but, like... If I... Well, I mean, I didn't remember, but I did definitely go outside within the last two weeks. And I think that's pretty okay when it comes to my... my... <laughs> then what's your bad? Not going outside for, like, a whole whole month. Or something. I envy your life. No, I'm just... I'm just indoors for everything I do. My work is from home. My... My... My sleep... I sleep in my room. I order or have food at home. How do you get groceries? I live with my family. And, uh... I don't really have to buy groceries because they're already in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 uh... Yeah. Like... I used to go outside a lot more, you know, before before COVID. But now now I'm here. And I I'm pretty okay with that, honestly. So, yeah. Yeah. Yo, y'all saying that I need exercise? 
is like no I, I well actually no nah 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 I, no, no what do you call it like i'll definitely need it like if i get older but i'm young so i'm fine i'm fine I'm fine. You know... I feel like... You know, I feel like I would, like, go outside more if I had a had a car. But... To get a car, you have to go outside. So... So, uh... But... You know, buy online. What are they just gonna like deliver it to your house or something? You could you could drive. Yeah, I have a license. I passed my driver's test. But then, what would I do if I get a car? I get a car. Uh, all of my friends are online, or most of them are. I hang out online. And then... Isn't your license expired? Wait, let me check. No, we're good. We're good, we're good. <laughs> I haven't seen it uh, for a while. No, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. No, there's no way. Then hang out offline. You do realize my friends are in different countries. They're sometimes on the other side of the globe. Uh... Yeah. So, so it's like... Drive across the ocean. But that means you go outside. You know? If I had more local friends... I would definitely have a car, but I don't. So, where do you live, Shu? North America, East Coast. Do you hate the air outside? What? what? Why would I hate the air outside? I don't hate the air outside. My, what? Why would I hate them? <laughs> There's no reason to really hate air. It's just air. <laughs> what? Do you hate grass then? No, not really. Oh yeah, I saw a TikTok though that... Apparently, there's some, like, lawn that you barely have to mow because they barely grow tall. I saw a video, or I saw a TikTok that th those are a thing. So, I might prefer those over grass. You know? Apparently, apparently. How are you with crowds? Uh... I'm more paranoid of them now because of, like... COVID. But before I didn't mind. But now I mind because COVID. You just don't want to go outside. 
No, I, I just don't have a reason. I just don't have a reason to go outside. Why would I go outside? You know? Alright, alright, chat. No, you know what, chat? Give me... Give me 10 good reasons to go outside. Give me, give me reasons. Give me good reasons. What's a based reason? To see the light. I open my windows. There's sunlight. Fresh air. I open my windows. Fresh air. See dogs. <gasps> okay. True. Dogs. True. See monkeys. Are there even wild monkeys in North America? To be outside? That's not a reason. That's not a reason. Shopping? Mm, you know, a lot of times I would agree, but I don't know what I'd need to shop. Like, I was looking for things that I might need to shop, but I couldn't find anything, honestly. I was, I think I'm fine with, like, what I have right now. In terms of, like, stuff in the house. Ice cream. Okay. Dogs. Ice cream. The beach. What? What? Why the beach? Why would you go to the beach? It's hot. You get sunburned. You have to place a freaking mat so you don't burn your feet in the sand. It's it's like. Almost like, or no, it is September, so it's starting to get colder now. So it's gonna be sad. But you can swim. It's getting colder. Bugs, bugs outside. Ugh. Oh, bugs. Oh, bugs. You know. Amusement parks? Well, you know, you wouldn't go out to go to amusement parks like every day. I'm, I'm trying to think of like the reason you would go out like more often than once like every two weeks. You know? Once every, like, two weeks. Play Pokemon Go? You know, if I liked Pokemon Go, that would be a good reason. <laughs> if I enjoyed Pokemon Go, that would be a good reason. But, uh... I, I don't know. Go to the gym? That would be a reason if I enjoyed going to the gym. If I <laughs> If I enjoyed going to the gym that would be a reason. Mm -hmm. 
GeoGuessr IRL. Oh, let's go. That's a that's a reason. Get coffee at your local coffee shop. My local coffee shop is Starbucks. <laughs> why why would I go to Starbucks? Why? It's like, I mean, nothing, nothing wrong with Starbucks. Like, what? what? <laughs> just going to, going there daily. Just, just for Starbucks. I mean, I mean, it is great, but like Starbucks every day. Go to a different local coffee shop. Maybe, you know, I kind of like that idea of, of like going to some place and like being a regular at like a certain place you enjoy. Good bagels. Is there a bagel place nearby me? Maybe, maybe. Star bilk. True, true. Go to the dog park. Is it weird if you go to a dog park, but you don't own a dog? You're just, you're just, you're just there to see other dogs. No, I do it all the time. Yes, yes, no, no. I don't think so. It's not weird. Incredibly weird. You can play with someone else's dog. But wouldn't the dogs play with other dogs? Already? And there- and then there's just a random sorcerer running around with all the other dogs. <laughs> like, there's the dogs running around with all the other dogs chasing a ball and then right behind all the dogs is a sorcerer running after all the dogs. Like, it, like... <laughs> You'll fit in those sob emoji? What do you mean I'll fit in? How what? <laughs> what? Just be a dog. What? <laughs> <laughs> You'll stand out. Yeah, exactly. That'll be weird. No, I will not fit in. I will not. <laughs> I will not fit in. <laughs> Bark with them, you'll fit. No, I'll scare them. I'll intimidate them so much. I'll intimidate both the dog population and the human population within the whole dog park. You'll be terrible. That's terrible. A dog babysitter? <gasps> oh, you know... I did babysit a dog. I did babysit a dog once. It was nice. The dog was so friendly. I pet the dog. It was nice. The dog park will close because of you. <laughs> I'm gonna get banned. Banned from dog park for being an imposter. <laughs> Shoo, are you a cat person or a dog person? Um, I think I'm more used to interacting with dogs. If that makes sense. Like, if there's a cat that's just like sitting around, I might be more careful trying to touch them because I'm not used to cats as much. But for dogs, I'm like, yeah, 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 you're a good boy, you're a good boy. You know? That kind of deal. And they're down to get, like, pet and stuff. So, like, I don't feel bad touching dogs because they're, like, friendly. Or if they're a friendly dog, I wouldn't mind, you know? Like, but I, it's hard for me to think of a friendly cat that's up to that caliber 
for me. You know? But, I, I do enjoy watching cat videos. <laughs> yeah, cat, you have to let them come to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know, I know cats are friendly, too, but, like, I went to a cat cafe once, and all the cats were asleep. They're, they're just asleep. So, so I just took pictures of them with my phone, and that was my cat cafe experience. <laughs> Don't cats sleep, like, two-thirds of the day? Don't they sleep so much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sleep two-thirds of the day. Yeah, I don't want to disturb the cats. They need sleep. Cats sleep 12 hours a day. Oh, then I'll fit in. <laughs> Maybe I'll fit in more in a cat cafe. I'll just sleep with, with the cats. I'll sleep for 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fit in. Let's go. <laughs> you would? I, I don't know, actually, though. Like, I probably, like, wouldn't mind either dogs or cats. And I, they both have their moments, and I enjoy watching dog videos, cat videos. I enjoy animals in general for the most part, so yeah. But I have experience owning a dog, so like if you're asking me which one I'm more comfortable like interacting with, they'll most likely be a dog. Yeah. Shoot, do you like ferrets? They're cute. Shoot, do you like snakes? They're cute. Oh, my like... My school teacher had a pet snake. And like... We would like, take turns feeding the snake. And it was interesting. We would all sit in the classroom, staring at the snake, devour a mice. Uh, like a, a mouse. Like a frozen mouse. Or, like, defrost the mouse and then feed it. Oh, I shouldn't have said that b before saying that, but, uh, hamsters are cool, yeah. <laughs> I prob probably shouldn't have mentioned that, but, yeah, hamsters are cool, yeah. <laughs> Shoot, what do you think of owls? I relate to their sleep schedule. Yeah. Do you like frogs? Um, if they're in a tank. Or like... Uh, I don't think I would mind frogs as much as the 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 frog videos when they jump on it like everything didn't you dissect one well no i watched like the other lab members dissect it i was i became the the scribe i wrote i wrote stuff down in the lab i never dissected it yeah i don't i it's like I don't think I would hate any animal. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think I would I don't think I would hate any animal in particular. I I enjoy I enjoy uh, a lot of animals. Mhm. Mm Bugs. Ew, bugs. <laughs> Why would you go outside when there's bugs? Oh yeah, this was all about going outside. Yeah, there's bugs. 
You don't want to go outside. There's bugs. Gross. Bugs, gross. Ew, bugs. You know? Why would you go outside when there's bugs outside, you know? Like, you know those small, like, the smallest flies that, like, fly around you, like, around your head? I hate those. I hate those so much. I hate those so much. I, w I wouldn't go outside in the summer, like, because of that reason over every other reason. Like, gnats? Is that what they're called? But there's still bugs inside. Well, less than outside. Yeah. The reasons I would go outside. Dog. Ice cream. Uh. What else was there? Coffee shop. If I wanted to become a regular at a coffee shop. Uh. Uh, if I had, uh, pre-COVID responsibilities, but I don't have those anymore. I wouldn't go to, um, like, I wouldn't go to amusement parks that often. PC shop? Computer stuff? I don't know if I would go to a computer store, like, every, every two weeks. Yeah, this has to be something that I do every two weeks, you know? Every two weeks. Donuts? You know, I've been- I've been, like, ordering donuts. And having them delivered instead of going out to get donuts. Cause it's- Cause I would want donuts in the morning. And then... I don't wanna go outside in the morning cause it's too early. Groceries? I don't do groceries, though. My family does them already. It wouldn't be a Shuyamino reason. A walk? A walk? Ramen. What do you mean ramen? I have so much instant ramen at home. I have to get through those. <laughs> I have to get through all the instant ramen at home. Or else they'll all go bad. <laughs> Real ramen? What do you mean? The, the long time ramen? The non-instant ramen? Uninstant ramen. Non-instant ramen noodles. Hmm. Hmm. Raw milk. Huh. Okay. But but you. Would, wait, would y'all go to ramen places every two weeks? Or I guess eating outside once every two weeks. Eh. I guess so, I guess so. If I wanted to eat outside. If I wanted to. A lot of times I don't though. A lot of times I would just eat, eat at home. I just eat at home. Eating outside is nice. I mean, it it is nice, I guess. How about cutting hair? You wouldn't cut a... Wait, y'all cut your hair every two weeks? How often do y'all cut your hair? Yeah, exactly. I, I'm trying to find reasons to go outside every two weeks because... Or else it would be dumb for me to get a car if I don't only go out 
What am I saying? It would be weird for me to go out to get a car if I only go out once every, like, every other month. <laughs> you know? You know? I need a reason to get a car. Go visit your relatives? My relatives are like... Airplane distance away. They live far away. <clears throat> Long drive travel. Every two weeks? Every two weeks? Do you drive safely? Uh, I, I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Every two weeks, you go on to a long drive to relax. I'm relaxed already, though. I'm already relaxed. When's the last time you drove my driver my driving test for my license? <laughs> I don't have a car. I can't drive. I don't have a car. Blast music inside a car. Go for a hike every every two weeks. I mean, I guess if you like hikes, you would. It has to be like a pretty like. I think my y'all are giving me like very like advanced stuff, y'all. Like the stuff y'all are saying is so advanced and like crazy. I just want like light and easy stuff to do you know what's a what's a easy fast reason fast and easy chill reason you know it's not that advanced yeah y'all are saying stuff like amusement parks going for long drives and hikes those are advanced stuff a lot of people don't do that every two weeks that's not every two weeks or usually not every two weeks, I, I'd want to say. Library. I don't know the last time I read a book. TVH. Yo, like... I feel like I had a pretty, like... I wouldn't say traumatic, but like, I don't like books because my, like, my elementary school years, I was forced to read books and then I'm like, oh, I'm tired of these. So I would like get a book to read it like experimentally, but I don't want to read a book for a while because like, I just don't like it. I don't understand or I never learned the joy of reading a book. <laughs> like, you know, like when schools give you like reading assignments, you're supposed to read a book and then have book discussions or like you're supposed to write an essay or, or whatever. I never finished the books that I was supposed to read. Like never, literally I've never finished a school assignment book before. I BS through every single, every single reading assignment. I would BS everything. Like they would, they would talk about like some discussion about the book and I would mention some one plot point that's like very like 
early in the book, I would only mention that one plot point. And while everybody else knows the the final like result of everything that happened in the story, I literally only mentioned this one plot point and then the teacher's like, wow, interesting observation you have, Shu. Cool, cool, nice, nice. And I pretend I'm joining the conversation throughout the rest of the, the, the thing, but I literally don't know what the heck they're talking about. Like, I don't even know that some of the characters they're talking about because they're not introduced yet when, I, when I'm reading or the parts I, I read. Like, literally, that's literally how I got through, like, English class. I would not care. Like, I literally couldn't care less. <laughs> if Sparknotes was a person. That, that was literally me. But honestly, I don't recommend this to anyone, but I just couldn't read. Like, I don't know what it was. I just did not enjoy reading. Or like reading a whole book. How did you not fail? C's get degrees. <laughs> C's get degrees. Let's go. Yeah. I mean, there's other assignments in English class, and just the reading assignments, just one of, uh, one of the few. So, let's say I got like a 25% in my reading assignment. I still have other assignments I could do to like catch up, you know. So like, I I just didn't do the reading assignment as seriously as the other assignments, and then I guess C's good enough. I pass. Pog. You know. Do you hate essays? I like writing. I don't mind writing at all. I just hate reading books specifically. Oh no, someone mentioned the reading log. Oh, 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 oh. I hated it. I hated the moment they were introduced to me as a child. Freaking reading logs. That's the worst, like most toxic thing that ruined my reading career. Freaking reading logs. I hate those. I hate those so much. And I can't understand why teachers make that their their children do that. It's so bad. It's such a bad like way to like make people read. It's so... I faked the whole thing, lol. Y you know, I should've. I should've convinced my, my parents. I'll, I'll be like, okay, so I didn't read, but I feel like it's okay for me to just write in these numbers for my reading log because I, I am doing fine in school. I am not getting like A's or anything, but I am indeed not doing terribly. I think this is good enough. You should just write these numbers. But I don't know. I think I was too, too like young and honest. I filled in the reading logs the hard way. And uh, yeah, never again, never again. <laughs> yes, I read 20 minutes a day. Source, me. <laughs> so trash, man. Like, honestly, like, if I didn't care, I would have been totally okay with, like, having, like, only five minutes in my reading log when I'm supposed to have an hour. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, yeah, I only read for five minutes. Yeah, give me, give me a... What's... What's 5 divided by 60? Give me like 1 out of 12. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Like, no. Shoot, do you know what Percy Jackson is? Yeah, the book, right? The Percy Jackson series? You know, I had a friend that would enjoy reading books. 
and they'll be like, Hey, Shu, have you read the Percy Jackson series? And I'll be like, no. Books? <laughs> I, I read, uh... Captain Underpants. <laughs> you like that book? <laughs> Captain Underpants. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Literally picture books. That's all I'd read. <laughs> That's literally all I'd read. I would not care about all the other... I don't know, storybooks. I, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Book fairs? Oh, yo, book fairs? Yo, book fairs? I would go to a book fair, and... All I would do is look at the Guinness World Record books, and I'd be like, oh my gosh, look at these cool, look at these cool books. And then I would go to the other section, and then there'll be a book that's all about video game cheats. Video game cheats and and tips, you know, you know those books. Does anyone remember those books? Anyone remember those? I would look at those books and I'd be like, haha, I don't own this video game, but haha, look, Mario. <laughs> I would literally only look at those those books, and then there's some comic books. I'm like, wow, look, comic books, yay. Reading real books? Can't relate. Can't relate. Manga? Yeah, literally, yeah, comic books, manga. That's all I've all I looked at. That's all I cared really. My parents were like, you know, it's a good idea to uh uh make my kid go to the local library and then they could check out books and read books. Wow, that would be amazing. And then I would go to the local library and then they would have like a manga section. I would only take the manga. I would have no interest in looking at actual books. All I do is look at manga. I would check out all the manga and I'll read those. <laughs> <laughs> Still reading though Not me buying a minecraft book. Yo, those are lit though. I love those books But yeah child me Child me read all of Dragon Ball Z the manga Let's freaking go. I'm cultured in Dragon Ball Z because of of me going to the local library And I could join in on those conversations because the anime is way too long to watch. I understand the Dragon Ball Z references. <laughs> Shoot, what if your parents are watching right now? They know. They know I only picked up Dragon Ball Z One Piece and Naruto at the local library. They know. <laughs> Why would they not know? They're literally holding a bag full of books that, like, they would check out, and then a bunch of manga. <laughs> why would they not know? Why? Why would they? How would they not know? They're literally holding a bag with like ten volumes of Dragon Ball Z. You know? It, like... <laughs> they, I don't think they would mind that much. They don't scold you? No, because I would also check out like one book that I don't read. <laughs> I would check out a book? 10 volumes of Dragon Ball Z? And they'll be like, okay. You're gonna read this book, right? I read through the 10 volumes of Dragon Ball Z. 
Hold on to the book. Return the 10 volumes of Dragon Ball Z back to the library. Tell my mom, oh, I haven't finished the book yet, but you could return the mangas. And while we return those 10 volumes, I follow along. I tag along my mom, go to the library, rent out the next 10 volumes of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> and then my mom's like, what about a book? I tell her, oh, I haven't finished that book that I, I rented last time. It's still in the bookshelf. I go back home. I read the 10 volumes of Dragon Ball Z. I, I'm done with the 10 volumes. The book, five pages read. <laughs> I read five pages of that thing. Like, literally, no progress of the books. I literally can't remember a book I rented from the local library, except for the 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 manga. <laughs> you, you gotta work smart, you know? You gotta work smart. And you know... I was more of a math kid anyways. I did my maths, so I don't think my parents really cared that much about me reading. Like, I was doing some some stuff that was productive with my uh, academics, so... Yeah, reading was never my strong suit, and I think they understood that after a while. So, so it's okay. <laughs> You know, but honestly, though, like, in this day of age, if you were to, like, have a child, right? Like, not that I could really imagine myself having a child, but if you had a child, and if they're, if they were more interested in STEM than reading Harry Potter, isn't that, isn't that kind of, well, if, like, just considering, like, how the STEM field is, like, more like that, you know? I don't think a lot of people would mind that, right? Like... Like, STEM... STEM gets you a good amount of careers. Not, not that reading Harry Potter doesn't. You know, there's more, more important things that... That are just... That are there than... If you've read this episode of Harry Potter or Percy Jackson or, you know, I mean, it'd be nice to know those stories, but like, is that as important as knowing the how to solve for X, you know, I guess, I guess that was like the priorities they really cared about. I guess. And I was still doing my reading logs. Anyways. With that, you know. Why not both? Well, I mean, the why not both question comes in. So they put in some effort of taking me to the local library. But that's, that's all they really cared about. They're like, okay. Sure. It was an attempt. Mm hmm Yeah, like... It's not like I was failing English class or anything. Like, it wasn't A's, but like... I wasn't failing. You know? So... Shoo, are you a Kumon kid? Oh my gosh. You know... Kumon, um, I went there for a little bit, but then, uh, so the issue for me was when I went to, to Kumon, I went with my little sister too, right? I would go to Kumon with me and my little sister, 
I don't, I don't know why it was me and my little sister, but my mom was like, yeah, you and your little sister, you go to Kumon. And I was like, oh, okay, sure, I guess. And like, you know, I, I'm, I'm a kid. I have a lot of time in my hands. And like, I honestly had nothing else to do but go outside and run around. But uh, I already had enough of that too. So like, all I would, like, I would do that. I would, I would do Kumon and I'm like, like, I was okay with that as a child. Like, I quit before I got into like middle school so i wasn't even like that busy anyways so i would go to i would go to kumon with me and my little sister i go in there i do my worksheets uh i read some phrases and then the teacher's like cool good job today high five i'm out of there like let's say like 20 minutes i forgot how long it actually took me but i was like yeah 20 minutes i'm out of there I sit there. Another 30 minutes passes. Hey, what the heck? Where's my younger sister? <laughs> She's literally in there double the time of me. I'm just stuck waiting for my younger sister sitting there being like... Is she done yet? She done yet? She done yet? She done yet? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, it didn't last that long. And, uh, yeah. I did, I did well in Kumon, so then my, my parents were kind of like, Oh, I mean, if you're doing well in Kumon and, like, uh, you're doing okay in school, so I don't think the Kumon's really, like, helping you at all or any anything or whatever. You're going to middle school anyways, uh, yeah, I, yeah, cool, cool stuff. Nice, you learned. Uh, yeah, just, just go to middle school, cool. And then I stopped going to Kumon. That's pretty much what happened. <laughs> I feel bad for your sister. She done yet? I don't know. Maybe she's still in Kumon. Who knows? <laughs> Did your sister continue Lamau? No, she quit the at the timing I quit. We both quit at the same time. Your parents sound so chill. Yeah, I think I think their standards weren't like anything crazy like they would send me to kumon but like i would be like yeah i did i did the kumon stuff cool yeah but like it didn't last mm -hmm. kumon was actual torture really i, I just i just did did some stuff and I was like, cool. And I, I, and I, like, I finished it and I don't know. The teachers liked me. The teachers, teachers there liked that. Like, or like, liked that I understood stuff, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, for those who don't know, Kumon is like, like a, like a private, tutoring well it's not really that private but like you get tutored and then you 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 like do like worksheets and stuff but yeah i would i would i, would, I used to do that but me and my younger sister both did it and uh yeah i got out of there like really fast and i just waited for my younger sister more than <laughs> being in there and sometimes I would do, like, Kumon homework of my friends because my friend would have, like, Kumon homework in the school bus. And I would do it. To <laughs> in the school bus. Yeah. 
for free? No, he gave me like candy. <laughs> I did it for candy. Let's go. I got Laffy Taffies. I got Dum Dums. Let's freaking go. I got Smarties. <laughs> it was great. It was great. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. I don't think I really hated Kumon, but I was also kind of young. So like back then, a lot of stuff I was learning wasn't really like painful to me or like homework and stuff. I think I didn't mind homework as much until like I want to say oh, middle school I think hit me the hardest with like my hate for homework because of uh history class. I hated my middle school uh History teacher, so much. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, but like... It was so, like... Boring. Long. Tedious. And... I don't know what it, what it was. I just couldn't, like... The history stuff just would not, like... Stick. I mean, like, I would, like, not fail, but I think history, like, like a semester, I almost, like, failed because of uh, how much I, like, disliked, like, whatever was going on. Like, it wasn't me understanding. I just genuinely just disliked what was going on, so I just didn't do it. Like, from, from dislike was the reason why I didn't do well in that history class. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's crazy to me, like... I could never be, like, a straight A student because of stuff I, I hate. History is sometimes interesting. Like, history itself, I... I, I think I like a lot. I like I love history. I hate history class. You know what I you know what I mean? History history is so interesting. History a lot of history like subjects and all the stories, what happens. So interesting. History class? dog water actually dog water so bad how do they teach history like that it's actually like terrible horrible it's so bad what why 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 do you have to like you make you make these kids memorize these things and then they memorize these words and they don't understand the the idea behind it and then it's so trash because the, like the kids don't retain anything <laughs> or that's that's at least what it was in the, the American uh, school system that I experienced I don't know how how different it is for for whatever school district whatever whatnot y'all have but man American history classes oh frick civics and economics got me scared I enjoyed civics though I think civics and economics more made more sense to me. And like those classes about like laws and like policies and stuff like that. Those stuff I think made more sense to me to 
like... I, I don't know why. I don't know why, but it made a lot more sense for me to, to learn. Econ? Uh... I think I... Took my Econ class, like... Uh... What do you call it? My school had, like, something like a... Like a Econ Online thing. Like, so if you take the class online, you didn't have to actually, like, take it in, like, in person. So I took it online, I passed, or like, I kind of like, cheesed the, cheesed the exam. <laughs> so, uh, I, uh, this is like, kind of, kind of bad, but like, so the online exam, right? They had this online exam. It's like, it's like, mostly multiple choice. Most of the questions are multiple choice. Because it's an American exam and, you know, uh, programming for multiple choice questions was a lot easier. But the one thing that the programmers kind of uh, forgot to check was if the answers would be randomized. So for every single multiple choice question, the correct answer was A. <laughs> Literally? Literally? Every single question, the programmers messed this up so much. Every question, the correct answer was A. So like, I would do the first question. Oh yeah, that's A. Next question. Oh, A again. Third question. This has to be A. Fourth question. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> and then like near the like near the last like one fourth of it i'm like a a a a like i'm not even reading the question at that point and i got a i got i got a hundred i got a hundred on the exam let's go let's go i passed that course i aced that i like you know, I was actually a little worried because it was an online course and I, I like sometimes wasn't able to like do all the, the the assignments because I was like, oh man, I'm lazy today. I don't want to do this assignment. You know, you know, that happens often with online courses. So I just didn't do a lot of those. But the exam, I was like, oh, oh, baby, I, I'm not sure if I could do this or like, you know, if I pass, that's all that matters. You know, that's fine, that's fine. I'll pass, I'll pass, and it'll be fine. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 100. Woo, let's go, baby! <laughs> Did you tell the teachers? No, after I was done with the course, I, I kind of, like, ghosted my teacher. <laughs> I was done with the course. I did not care. I did not care at all. <laughs> well, I mean, someone should have like, I wasn't the only one taking the online exam. Like there has to be someone, there has to be someone who, who told the teacher about this, you know? There has to be, not to not to be like a, not to be the prime example of the bystander effect, but there has to be, there has to be someone who must have told the teacher, you know, I didn't have to be the one, you know. <laughs> You know, you know that one student that asks the teacher if there's homework today at the end of the class? I, I would never be that kid. I would never. I would- I could never be that kid. Like, no. <laughs> Yo, like, I'll just be sitting there silently being like, Hey, 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 the teacher hasn't asked- hasn't told us about the homework. We, we might not get homework today. Shh, shh, shh. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Shh, shh, shh. 
And then from the corner of the classroom, the kid that sits in the very front is like, uh, do we have, do we have, a, do we have any homework assignments today? And, I'm, and then everybody else in the class will be like, bro, why did you say that? Why did you have to say that? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, come on! I don't want. I, I don't need this. I don't. We don't need this homework today. It's okay. <laughs> Do you ever ask questions during class? Um, not really. You know, one thing I kind of preferred for me to do was I would like think really hard about the questions, right? I would like think really hard about the question. And if I solved that question, I think that would be more productive for me and like how, how I want to learn, right? So I would like think about it for a really long time. And if I still don't get it, I'll ask like the next day of class. That's what I try to do. Like the beginning of the class, like next day. I'll be like, uh, I don't understand this. Same, same. I don't ask the teacher though. Oh yeah, I do that a lot too. I just ask like my friends who are also taking the class. I'll be like, hey, how'd you do this again? I forgot. Or like, I didn't really understand it. And they'll tell me and I'll be like, oh yeah, okay, thanks. I think that's what I do more. I ask my classmates. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, and it makes more sense a lot of times because if your friends are also learning at the same time, you experience the same things. So it's easier to learn off, like, it's easier to teach it if you're also, like, been taking the same classes. So you have the same, roughly, you have the same knowledge pool as another person or the other person who might be confused. So it's usually better. You know. When someone's too knowledgeable about a topic, sometimes it's like more confusing. So, so yeah. You can share notes. Yo. Yo, my note taking is actually like pretty poop though. You know, like I would take notes <laughs> do you take notes uh i take notes not to look back at them i take notes and i look at my notes and i'm like i don't understand this and i close it did you have bad handwriting no i would write down stuff that i didn't understand or like stuff i wanted to memorize and i would like write stuff but if you try to comprehend the notes later like they're kind of a bunch of bullets that don't mean much so it's pretty much rubbish so like i wouldn't really like even like reference the notes because because no you know i write down stuff in class so i memorize stuff better you know like writing down stuff makes you memorize stuff better that's that's what i do What was your least favorite subject? That history class I took in middle school. The worst, absolute worst, trash, F tier, terrible. Yeah, like, I think that class as a whole just kind of accelerated my hate for history classes. I just couldn't. Subject tier list. Oh, you want to do a subject tier list? Okay, 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 okay. Um. Oh wait, that's my set list for my. All right, S tier. Wait, let me increase my text size. Uh. Why is it so crusty? Was this always this crusty? Alright. S tier. A tier. 
B tier, C tier, uh, trash. All right, math, uh, math, I would give, I want to say A, only because it's so, it's pretty practical up to a certain point, um, and I think, I think the homework, homework they give me, it, it, it makes sense. Math homework makes sense for sense to me. But I won't I won't put it S tier because math exams is like sometimes or actually I feel like math I'll put put like calculus at A tier, but like algebra is C tier. Did I spell as algebra right? It's been a while. Trig and statistics. <laughs> Screw statistics. Geometry is here too. Trash. Trash. Trig? Trig's pretty good. Trig's pretty good, but I don't put it S tier because of the unit circle. <laughs> the unit circle's kind of, kind of, kind of boring. Honestly. PE class? Uh, at least for American PE class, if you, if you do some, like, if you don't, like, as long as you show up, you're pretty much guaranteed an A. So pre-based, pre-based. American PE based. American PE is a participation trophy, so... Like other other country P, it wouldn't be as high, but American P is is S, I think. Chemistry. Uh, I only took like one semester of chemistry, and my teacher sucked. But I think chemistry by itself is pretty uh interesting, especially the labs. I like I like chem the chem labs were pretty fun. Chemistry, A tier. Biology. Uh, uh B. It's not it's not it's not amazing in my 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 books. A solid B for me. Lunch. Lunch is not a subject. <laughs> foreign languages um learning foreign languages in a in a classroom settings is honestly c tier i think learning learning in a classroom setting sucks no English class? Uh, mid, probably. American English classes? I guess it, it, it's, it has its like, because of goods and bads. Physics? Uh, you know, I, my physics teacher was like, <laughs> I hate a lot of teachers, sorry. I, um, not to be rude or anything, but a lot of teachers I just did not enjoy learning from. But I think physics as a whole is is a S tier for me. Uh, 
but but my teacher sucked and a lot of teachers i think suck but i think physics is pretty fun especially when you have physics labs but i think physics teachers a lot of them suck like a lot of people cry with physics that means the teachers suck <laughs> they're underpaid shoe well i mean this is just the just the tier list it sucks art like uh i don't know art is like such a hit or miss because like I mean, it's, it's nice to have that, but like, I don't know. I think it's a solid A. A for art. Geography. Uh, I personally don't enjoy it but at least it's pretty useful history history in a classroom sucks but i guess to a certain extent it's it is important but it sucks in a classroom philosophy you know philosophy? I do not understand. <laughs> philosophy is the Y tier for me. <laughs> philosophy is like, why? Econ? Yo, I can't judge Econ. I cheesed it. <laughs> you can't tell me to judge Econ class. I cheesed it. I literally have no clue what goes on in an actual Econ class. <laughs> Wait. Wait, I, I saw something, but I... I forgot which one it was. Oh, civics, 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 I think is, is S tier. Civics is actually so useful. Like literally civics is just so useful as a, as a topic, at least American civics, I think. I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to S tier civics, but honestly, my civics teacher was like really, a really fun teacher too. So I might be a little biased because of that. Computer classes. Oh, like computer science classes. Uh. Hmm. Like, you know, not to be a nerd, but I like it, but I could see it being a struggle for a lot of people, but I like it. So I, I don't know where I would put that. You know, like, uh, what do you call it? Um, me personally, uh, I would put computer science in like A tier, not S tier because, because like a lot of stuff is really like tedious to deal with. 
and like it's so simple to make mistakes so it's really hard to do very very well i guess but if you get it it's really nice imo home economics uh it's useful but also 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 b tier imo because um this is like personal experience but even even after me personally taking home ec class my chat still tells me that i can't cook so um clearly it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> like, if your chat still tells you you can't cook, what's the point? What's the point? You know? <laughs> I see a lot of people typing environmental science but i didn't take that course i took physics i took physics instead i don't know anything about environmental science classes music music i think music is great for people who actually have a background but if you don't have any background and if you go into music class it's a uh, it's pretty bad um it's like you know you know those things when like like in PE class like the the jocks are like the teacher's favorites I feel like something similar also kind of happens with like music classes so like I don't know I feel like it could be fun and I do enjoy music class personally. I mean, hmm. Hmm. Can you read sheet music shoe? Only the treble clef. Because I play the violin. I only know the treble clef. I think I think we could put music in S tier, but I don't I don't think music is fun for everyone. A lot of people are shy when they sing, you know? That kind of stuff. Psychology? Mm, I did take a class in mm, psychology. I feel like psychology class was like the, the least like stimulating class for me. Like mentally stimulating class like it's fun when there's stuff that happens with psychology like when when they do like psychology experiments and like phenomenons and all that stuff fun i love i love those stuff like i have i, I kind of have those conversations often too like wow great that I like but I don't like the part where they start to make you learn the history why do you do that psych class what why do I have to know no why do I have to know the history what is this <laughs> The ducks salvates Pavlov. Sh sure, like my my psych teacher literally was like, you know, for the exam, uh, 
I'm just gonna teach you a bunch of like uh, ways to memorize. Wow, using your brain memorizing psychology. Wow. So you use these memorization techniques because I'm a psych teacher. I'll teach you these. And I literally, like, that was literally the exams. My psych teacher was like meta psychology classing. <laughs> that was, that's so meta. Um, but I think, I think overall it's a B. Like as much as it's, it's nice, there's some downsides. Some downsides. IMO, IMO. Cooking class? That's home ec. B tier. Dark magic class. They should not teach that in a classroom. <laughs> what? What, what? What do you mean? Dark magic class? What? I don't think that's allowed. I don't think that's allowed in the United States <laughs> as a school. I don't think that's allowed. Aren't you a sorcerer? Yeah, but this is this isn't school school taught. <laughs> I I don't I don't learn sorcery in school. It's not yeah, this isn't the Hogwarts. I don't go to Hogwarts school or Hogwarts Hogwarts ho, ho Am I saying Hogwarts? Hog, hog, Hogwarts. I feel like I'm saying it wrong for some reason. Is it because I'm not saying it in a British accent? Hog, Hogwarts. That's probably why. What, wait, how do you say Hogwarts in an English accent? Am I saying it right? Hogwarts. Am I saying this right? It, it sounds wrong. <laughs> it sounds wrong because every time I hear Hogwarts, it's in it's in a British accent. Is it right? Okay, okay. Okay. You're too American. That's sad. But yeah. Is there any other subjects? I think this is the, the basics. It, it covers I think it covers most of these. You know, I would honestly put foreign languages in a trash tier, but I think there's some foreign language classes that are pretty interesting too. Literature? What? You think I took literature class? I never finished reading assignments. You think I took literature class? <laughs> What? Why would I take a literature class? <laughs> yeah, no, I did not take a literature class at school. Health? Uh, I think school health is like not that important. At, at least for the United States. At least for the United States, uh, health class is like 85% uh, uh, have have safe sex, and the other, what did I say? 75% have safe sex, 25% don't do drugs. That's literally health class in the United States. So, like, I mean, it is important, but like, like, like <laughs> that's that's literally it so uh, i don't i don't know <laughs> for those who are from like other places american health health class is like you watch this like crappy video from the 80s of like this this guy in high school and this other <laughs> being like what you don't practice safe sex 
Oh my gosh! What if you had a child? <laughs> you know, they, they, they make you watch these videos and like, like, oh no, what am I going to do? <laughs> like all these, all these videos and then they, they like show pictures of what your face looks like after taking each drug they'll be like healthy person before they took this drug their face after taking this drug healthy person without taking this drug face after taking drug like they'll have one for like like you know that's literally american health class so yeah trashed here <laughs> <laughs> I mean Yeah, that, that's all that's all I I think that's all I've I've learned. Mhm. Mm Computer class? Yeah, I put comp sci, A tier. Astronomy? Yo, you know I could have taken astronomy class. Um, but I kind of didn't because I, uh, no, no, wait, no. Oh, it's not astronomy. It was geology. Yeah. I didn't want to learn about rocks. I think geology is the question mark here. Why do, why do you want to learn about rocks? <laughs> Why would you want to learn about rocks? Like... Wh why? <laughs> why? Y'all have astr astronomy classes? Um... Probably not like... High school. It's really rare to find those in high school, I think. Because rocks are pog. Yeah, tell that to all the geology students. All the students that have to take geology. Tell them. Tell them that. Politics? Oh, like... I, I took like a... U.S government class uh government classes it's kind of similar to civics though honestly uh i think it was kind of interesting to understand like this the, the system i i thought it was pretty interesting I would put it S tier because it's also useful. Yeah. Accounting class. I think my accounting class was like kind of included to my econ class, uh, which was the class I took uh, online and cheesed. So uh, no clue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? No, I'll, I'll add econ in my question mark here because I cheesed it. I cheesed that class, so I literally have no clue. Law? I think that, no, that's part of, that was part of my U.S. government curriculum. しゅくんこんにちは。今何してるところ。えっと、アメリカでの強化のティアリスト作ってます。いや、for yeah, uh, those who just got here, I'm making a tier list of American uh subjects. IMO. This is this is American. Oh wait, if it's American, I feel like I can't put physics in S tier because of like all the horror stories and people hating it. Like uh I would put it A actually. 
because I, I like it, but my teacher sucked and I've never heard of a good physics teacher, so honestly. PE in America is not S tier, not gonna lie. Well, no, it's not, but you get easy A's. So, ceramics? Wait, what? You have a ceramics class? That sounds amazing. But I think that just falls under art, right? That's just an art class. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like put everything like, I see some like calligraphy, like all that, all that art, all the arts, I'm gonna, I'm gonna round them all together and put an A tier. Apart from music. I think. Mythology. I would not take a mythology class because I have to read. Shoot, did you join any club? Yeah, I was in, I was in the orchestra. I played violin. Shoot, there is there no proper English class in the United States? Uh, I don't know. Define your uh, what's what's proper? What's the <laughs> what's the definition of proper English class? Because there was something that was called an English class, and then they would make me read Lord of the Flies and Catcher in the Rye. I think I read Lord of the Flies like five times throughout my school career. <laughs> Stop, I hated those. <laughs> yeah. A violin gang. Were you a violin one or a violin two mainly? I was always violin two. So I had my peak freshman year. Freshman year in my, in like the freshman out of the freshmen, I was pretty good. So I was violin one. But after, I was only violin two. <laughs> I peaked. Did you have to read 1984? Is that the... No, I didn't read that one. I don't think. But I, I had to read, I had to read Lord of the Lord of the Flies like five times, so that took up all the other other books that I may have read. Animal Farm. Oh yeah, that's a pretty popular one. I didn't read it myself. Great Gatsby. Uh. I was assigned to read it. <laughs> uh, I was assigned to read it. But did I actually read it? Uh, <laughs> oh, to kill a mockingbird? I was assigned to read it. But did I actually read it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Did I actually read? Mm. You know. Romeo and Juliet. Oh. I read it. I think. And then I spark notes it. <laughs> yeah, spark notes. <laughs> Woo. It's so it's so clear and concise in the spark notes, man. So good. 
So good. Spark notes. Frankenstein? I think I read it. No, yes, I did read it. I, I did read it, I think. But I didn't read it. Uh, So, I think the, the class I read, Frankenstein, every week we would have like a summary test <laughs> of like what happened so far in the book. But the class would happen like a few times throughout the day, right? So like there would be an earlier class that does the same thing. And then there would be my class. And by the time my class happens, everyone who was part of the earlier class would uh, discuss all the answers to the summary test. So then, the people who are, uh, who are playing it smart would ask the people from the earlier class, Hey, what was the questions? Because they go over the answers during class, after they submit the questions. Because they want to actually discuss about the, the story, right? So the earlier class, peeps, the saviors, they <laughs> the legends the legends the saviors the people that allowed me to get an a in that class would <laughs> be like oh yeah this question answers this this one answers this but then afterwards the teacher would catch on the teacher, the teacher would catch on, right? Because the trend is the later the classes, the grades would go up. <laughs> the average grades would go up as the classes go, right? Oh, no, it's okay. The earlier classes didn't always get an advantage because um, the classes would be like... Uh, like, there would be, like, odd and even days where these classes would happen. And, like, on the odd days, um, sometimes the quiz come out, comes out to first. And sometimes the even days, the quiz comes out first. So, like, they still... There was still, like, interaction with, like, the questions. So, it would be, like, I would tell you this, and then you would tell me. And it was kind of like a back and forth thing, right? But, uh, sorry, I digressed. But, so what happens was that... Because the grades keep on going up after, like, every every class as it goes down, like, later in the day. So, eventually what happened was the teacher would include an extra bonus question that would be only exclusive to that class. Right? So then... <laughs> <laughs> so then what happens is we know the answer to like so let's say it was like a five second uh five let's say it was like a five question quiz right you know the answer to number one number two number three number four so you already get an 80 and then number five it's rng <laughs> Uh, well, it's not RNG for, uh, some members of the class, but for me, right? <laughs> for me and the few other kids in the classroom, it was a 50-50 between 80% uh, and 100%. But, um, yeah, we didn't get caught. By the way, I, uh, sorry, I saw, I saw your message, Spark Notes is the only way I class... Wait, wait. Spark notes is the only way I pass any kind of class. I, I relay, I relay. <laughs> but that, that, that's what happens. So, um, what do you call it? 80% isn't bad. But yeah, um, but like they would they would like share answers to get a hundred, but at least like they're given some kind of like 
chance to not get 100, and I think that's all the teacher cared about. You know, honestly, that teacher was, like, pretty, like, supportive of us doing, like, well with, like, the minimal amount of effort. So, I think, I honestly think, now that I think about it, the teacher didn't care about, um, us, like, sharing answers. I think he also didn't want to get caught. <laughs> I think the teacher also didn't want to get caught by like the English department that he was doing that. So I I have a feeling I, like I never asked him because like obviously like you know you shouldn't be asking these kind of things. But I honestly like genuinely like in retrospect I feel like he knew but he didn't care enough to change like all the questions and he just changed one question and he was like you know it's fine. You could still pass. If you're watching right now, handshake emoji. Handshake emoji. <laughs> One of my favorite English teachers. Based, based. But yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Benefits. Group benefits. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me try to read some super chats. Uh, I, I'm not gonna have a super chat reading, but I'm gonna try to like catch up on some super chats as they come. Um, uh, Hi Shu, I'll be visiting my friends in the states later this year. Any recommendations on places to go? Thank you, Demu, for the super chat. Uh, places to go in the United States. Any Americans in chat have any recommendations? It has to be something that's like universally available, right? You could try the the American fast food, but like, eh? <laughs> American, or like if you're traveling around all all over the place, Chuck E. Cheese. What a burger? Isn't that pretty local? Disney. Five guys. I like burgers. Yeah, you should try like a like a burger place that's like not McDonald's or Burger King, I feel. Like a, like a, like an expensive burger place, I guess. Costco? Oh, if you could go to Costco, it's pretty cool, I guess. Um, you need a membership though, so. If you ha if your friend has a membership, you could, you could visit Costco together and get like, I don't know, hot dogs. They're pretty nice. Shake Shack? No Shake Shack, please. It's super overrated. Well, I mean, if you're trying it for the first time, it's... I mean, it is an experience. What's the... What's the American experience, you know? What do you... What is the... America? You know? Wendy's? Target? New York Bagels? Arby's? We have the meats. Waffle House? Isn't it kind of memed on that like the Waffle House is like not good, but people go to it anyways? I mean, I haven't tried it, so I wouldn't know, but I, 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 I've seen it memed on like that. Taco Bell? If you go to Taco Bell, um, like it doesn't happen to everyone, but there's a group of people who have like some explosions in the restroom afterwards, so... If you go to Taco Bell, make sure it's like... Make sure it's not like... If you're if you're getting it, if you're, you're near, nearby some kind of uh, restroom. Or you could go to a restroom. Like, I don't have it myself, but I, I've, I've heard... Explosions. <laughs> 
Any donut place? American donuts. Are American donuts that special in comparison to like other places? I guess they're really sweet. If that's what you cared about, care about. Krispy Kreme? Oh, I think Krispy Kreme has like a very classic American vibe. If you enjoy the vibes like that, I guess. Panera? Mmm. Oh my gosh, the Cheesecake Factory. Is Cheesecake Factory good? Um... It's like... It's a restaurant, but it's... But it doesn't feel like a restaurant to me. <laughs> IMO. Olive Garden. Oh. I guess, yeah, Olive Garden is pretty pog, but, um, apparently it's like, a like, Italians don't approve. I mean, obviously, it's American, it's American Italian food, so, if you want American Italian food, Olive Garden's pretty good. Chipotle. Jollibee's. Ooh. Oh, Hooters? <laughs> if you want to go to Hooters, <laughs> you could. If you want to go to a Hooters. Yeah, America! <laughs> yeah, the American experience! Have you been to a Hooters? No, I haven't. I almost went to one. But there was a... There's a hot pot place nearby, and then we got tempted to the hot pot place instead, and, we, and then we, and then we went to get hot pot. <laughs> but I almost did. But I didn't. <laughs> probably, probably the better choice. Yeah. It honestly probably is. Not the almost, bro. I mean... You know, when you have a group of friends who's like... Lamau, wanna go to Hooters as a joke Lamau? Would you go with them? I would. As a joke. You know? And then like afterwards, it'll be like a story. Be like, Lamau, remember that one time we went to Hooters together as a joke? Lamau. Like, they have alcohol. It'll be fun. <laughs> It'd be fun. Yeah, I would. As a joke, I would. Right? Like... Okay, but if it's not like... If it's just one friend, it might be difficult, but if, if there's like... Five friends, right? And like, four of them say... Hey, let's go to Hooters as a joke. I feel like I would tag along, right? I would tag along. Is it good though? I haven't been. I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, but it was only a joke, so we we ended up going to Hot Pot. Do that with other Luxia members? Going to Hooters with Luxium? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Okay. Let's say... Vox, Mista, and I... Jokingly say... Lamau Hooters. Luca would join. Lamau, let's go Lamau. And then Ike... Would like come by, but he would, like, be like, do we really have to go? I- I didn't sign up for this. But then he would go. 
<laughs> this is my head cannon. I don't know what exactly would happen. My only my only my head cannon. Mr. Vox and I jokingly say Lamau Hooters. Luca Pog, what's a Hooters? Comes by. And then Ike also joins. <laughs> Luca's working there? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, he got the he got the boob up for. I mean, no, that's not that's not what a uh, that's not that's not what you're what no. Anyways, <laughs> let's take a look at some of these super chats. Uh oh, Katie. Thank you for the stream today. It was my birthday yesterday. Can I get a happy birthday? Happy birthday! Thank you so much. Um. Shabba dabba. Shabba dabba. Uh. Thank you, Pink Komodo. You were either good at math or reading. You can't be good at both. I mean, you could be good at both. It's just one would be better than the other. I feel like. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> oh my gosh! Uh, hi, shoot. Today's my f best friend Jenny's birthday. Oh, she is a Yemenian and always watches your stream with me. Oh, happy birthday, Jenny! Thank you. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> Changing the topic. There isn't much else to the Hooters topic. What else is there? I didn't actually go. I don't know what the experience is like. What, what, what like what else is there? I didn't go. Like <laughs> like what am I gonna say? I can't I can't imagine anything else that would happen in Hooters because we didn't actually go. This is your reason to get a car. To go to Hooters? I can't go back. I'll be... I'll be drunk. Because why would you go to Hooters and not drink? And then I can't drive back because... You can't drive under the influence. Don't drink? At Hooters? Not drinking at Hooters? What's the point? Break the law? No. <laughs> no. That's so bad. Get an Uber? Well, then I don't have to get a car. I, w I would not get a car for Hooters. To watch drunk people, that's not as fun as it is over stream. Like watching drunk people on stream is like pretty funny and stuff sometimes, but drunk people IRL is not as fun. I think a lot of people would agree with me with this. They're so like annoying sometimes. I'd rather get drunk. But like, I get drunk really fast, so... If I get drunk first, I don't have to deal with other people being drunk, so... Dubs only. <laughs> Do I want to know what Hooters is? Oh, um... Oh yeah, for those who don't know what Hooters is... Hooters is, uh... It's a restaurant. Um, the waiters, uh, um, might not be the most, uh, school appropriate. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 
I think that's all I have to say. American Maid Cafe? <laughs> I mean... Uh... I don't... It, I mean, they only do... They only do waiting. They don't- they don't actually do shows and stuff. <laughs> but, I mean, it's not that far. I think. It's not far. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Have you been to a maid cafe? Uh... No. I thought about it once, but my friends weren't down. <clears throat> so we didn't go. I'm gonna grab a drink of water. I'll be back. Hello. I'm big. So what was it again? Oh yeah. Maid maid cafes. Would I go to a maid cafe? Uh Maid Cafe? I don't know. Like, I might go once because, like, for the culture, for the experience. Kinko? You get healthier at a maid cafe? Huh. I honestly don't know, like, how I would feel until I've actually been there, you know? So I would go there once for the experience to see if I would enjoy it or not. And then probably not go again. <laughs> like I would go once and I'll be like, ah, so this is a maid cafe. And then I wouldn't go again. Mm-hmm.
How about a dog cafe? I would go there. Uh, I would go there again. And then I'll get a car to go there every every weekend. <gasps> there it is. There it is. The solution. Dog cafe. There it is. Finally. We've solved it. But how many dog cafes are there even? Isn't it pretty rare? What's your favorite dog breed? All of them. There's a lot. Really? Dog Cafe. Huh. I don't know. Maybe I'll take a look. Eventually. Cat cafes are more common. Even Chihuahuas. If they're well behaved. I don't I don't hate a breed for the breed. I hate certain acts that some breeds might do. But if they're trained to not do that, <clears throat> then we're good. So What kind of act? Like biting. I got bit by a dog once, so I don't like that dog specifically for biting me, but I mean, if, if they're trained to not bite, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, pretty much, I mean... I just enjoy the concept of dogs as a whole. Like, there are some breeds that I guess some people find cuter, more active, uh, but in, in the general, like, what do you call it? The general dog, the, the average dog, I just enjoy as, as a companion, I guess. Dog tier list, S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier. Like, I personally find it rude that some people consider like certain dogs as ugly I, I i i'm someone who sometimes finds offense in that you know but i i kind of assume that all the dogs that are um that I would like rate would be bit like well trained enough not to do things that would annoy people. I just assume, right? Under the assumption of that, I would be I'll be like all all breeds S tier. But there are certain dogs individual dogs that I would not be near <laughs> if that makes sense like right that was like, like I, mean, I mean that's like everything like you could love anime but you would not watch certain anime 
like, you know? Same thing. You love VTubers, but you don't watch every single VTuber. All right? Same thing, same thing. Mm-hmm. So yeah, pretty much. That's what it is. Well, I mean, it's kind of not, but like, it, 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 it's like... Generally what... Roughly what I mean, you know? Yeah. The analogy was not really that accurate. But, you know. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bum, ba -dum, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, let me read some super chats again. Uh, well, that's no kata. Thank you for the super chat. Hi, Shu. Thank you for the chatting stream. After listening to Shu's stream, I can hear English better than before. I'm very happy. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. So, you have Shu the puppet of Oh! Oh, yeah. I've, I've been seeing some uh, pictures in my hashtag of the Shu Yamino Niji puppet. For those who got that puppet. I've been enjoying the the uh the pictures y'all have been sending for that. Yeah. The puppets. They're so chonky. Uh-huh. Did you order one? Uh no, but Manager son, if you manager son, can I? There has to be one for me just hanging around somewhere, right? Right, manager son. Shipping prices are crazy for the. Oh, did y'all see the the announcement? Apparently. Wait, was that announced? Let me check. I'm pretty sure there is a... Yeah, yeah, reduce the shipping price for first step goods within the US starting September 1st. So... There's like... Less shipping for the United States at least. I think. So this... This came out recently. But yeah, I, I think... As long... Like, the more... Oh, uh, what do you call it? The more stuff happens... I'm sure... Or I hope... There'll be warehouses in other places, in other areas as well, but... Yeah, at least for the United States, I think they're trying to help with the shipping, because... Oof, you know. <laughs> that, the shipping price is something, but... um, Yeah, hopefully it does get better overall. But so far... In the United States, I mean in Japan, it's been... Slightly better. <laughs> yeah, ho hopefully it keeps on... Well, like, you could only get better from here, right? Like, you could... It could only get better. Or, like, maybe if some people order in the... From the United States warehouse, it would be cheaper than it would be from Japan. Alright? Hopefully. So, I mean... It, it's still not the best, but it's it's in the it's in the right direction is all I want to say. Like it's getting in the better direction, maybe hopefully is is yeah is uh yeah. 
How to do log 32 divided by log 16 pn. Uh, type it in, type it in Google. Log 32 divided by log 16. Uh, here you go. I honestly forgot logarithm. I forgot. It's like the... It's like... What was a log again? What is logarithms? Oh, yeah. It's like... The opposite of like... A power to something. The inverse function to exponents. So, if it's... Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, log. So, this is the formula, at least, for the logarithmic base. -da. So, logarithmic division, right? Logarithmic. Logarithmic division division the rule when you divide two values with the same base is to subtract the exponents therefore the rule for division is to subtract the logarithm the log of the quotient is the difference of the logs so log 32 divided by log 16 is just log 16 Right? Hmm? Right? Wait, no. Divide. Wait. Wait, yeah? Wait, no? I don't remember. I don't remember logarithms. There's a reason why I put calculus over algebra in my tier list. Because I didn't care about algebra. <laughs> Wait, what is... Wait, I'm kind of curious now. Do I... Okay. Quotient is log of Oh Oh wait oh log of Huh This this image is so low res Logarithmic division Wait, I'm curious now. Log... Log of... Wait, if the if it's the same base, can you just combine that? Or what? 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 I'm not a math teacher. I don't remember algebra. Sorry. I don't remember logarithms well enough for that. <laughs> sure, you could keep talking about dogs. Oh, so, so you do just subtract. But wait, but what? Then why was the answer 1.25? Log 32 divided by log 16. Wait, is log 16 just 1.25 then? What's log 16? No, that's 1.20... What? 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 
What? I did this? As a kid? What in the world? Anyways... <laughs> yeah, dogs! I don't have to think about this anymore. All I have to do is talk about dogs. Oh, 32 is 2 to the 5th, and... Oh! 32 is 2 to the 5th, and 16 is 2 to the 4th. So it's 5 fourths, 1.25. There it is. That's why. That's your answer. Did you get it now? Thank you, Super Chat. <laughs> See, y'all should- y'all should be the- y'all should teach. I'm just here to stream. <laughs> You know, I, I honestly wanted to just do do the thing or uh do the question for myself too because I kind of uh I wanted to remember how to do logarithms again. Personally. Because uh I feel like I should know but I don't. So you need to find the base, and then off the base you could do the. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I remember them being fun. Logarithms. Uh, uh, not for me. I don't think. What? Wait. What are? What are y'all's favorite algebra topic? Like I can't really think of a favorite algebra topic, honestly. Algebra. Uh, topics. Ooh. PEMDAS? None. None. OMG. None. None. I'm sorry, what topics? <laughs> no. None. <laughs> <laughs> All the algebra antis. I love matrices. Matrices? Oh my gosh, I haven't I haven't heard of that in such a long time. Matrix algebra. Oh gosh. And taking like what do you call it? Uh cross products of matrices. Oh my gosh. Linear algebra? Wait, what? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> Linear algebra nah <laughs> nah <laughs> nah get out nah <laughs> Linear algebra nah Linear algebra is kind of fun though What the heck? I feel like people who like linear algebra is the same type of people that would enjoy, uh, what, what would that be? They would enjoy, um, uh, what, what, what would a, huh, I'm trying to think. I feel like I have a good analogy for it, but I can't think of one right now. <laughs> what 
What, 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 would be, what would be a person? What kind of person likes linear algebra? Oh, linear algebra, I feel like is a type of person who would not enjoy eating vegetables. But the moment there's vegetables like hidden inside like fried rice, they would enjoy the food. No problem. That's what I feel like with people who like linear algebra. Like, just because the numbers are in a matrix, suddenly they're like, oh yeah, linear algebra. That's what it... <laughs> <laughs> That's me, Lamau. Oh my gosh. Yeah, exactly. Like, people being like, vegetables, yuck. But the moment they're the same vegetables and fried rice, they'll be like, Fried rice, yum! That's what it feels like with linear algebra. Wait, am I actually like that accurate? Same? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the difference is the rice. Yeah, and the difference for linear algebra is the brackets that surround these numbers. That's the difference. But then suddenly they're like, oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Fried rice. Yeah, matrices. That's what I expect. Or that's what I, I'd imagine. <laughs> oh, will you ever do a math stream? Cause I'll watch. Math stream? I mean, I, I guess I could play like a math game. On stream. If there's like a good math game. I played a... Uh, Big Brain Academy. That was... That, that had like a math game. I guess. Cool math games. Oh, right, didn't Millie play that? I have to ask which games Millie played. I want to play them too, maybe. <laughs> maybe, sort of. That sounds fun. Do Kumon? <laughs> is 2048 a math game? No, 2048 is a strategy puzzle game. Uh, and barely some math, but honestly, it's just how, bigger the number, so not that much. Unless you strategize far enough to the point where you think of steps, then maybe, but like barely. Like 2048 could be represented in like, uh, colors and stuff too, so like, it doesn't have to be numbers, so it could not be math. It, it could or... It doesn't have to be math. Yeah, pretty much, I guess. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Sudoku? Well, Sudoku's not really math. <clears throat> Sudoku's a... number-filling order puzzle game, I think. Minesweeper? Oh yeah, didn't Scarlet play Minesweeper? And she told me in call that she thought that Minesweeper was literally just a guessing game and it was 100% RNG to play. <laughs> I don't know if she actually did that on stream, but she told me that she thought it was just an RNG game and she was just clicking squares for fun, which uh, is a great way to play Minesweeper. Not gonna lie, but I just thought it was funny when, <laughs> when, when she told me that, oh, I thought it was just a random game where you have to guess. 
Giga Chad gameplay? Honestly, yeah. Honestly, Giga Chad. Wait, what? It's not? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a guessing. Well, I mean, partially, yeah, but you could solve a lot of them with logic. I've been playing wrong my whole life. What? <laughs> okay, maybe I need to have a Minesweeper stream. Maybe I need to play Minesweeper. I learned it like semi recently too, how to play Minesweeper. Oh, isn't there like a Minesweeper? game that's like it's not just minesweeper but also like mind sweeping and like something of uh, some other game combined i feel like i got this recommended to me once but i forgot what it was is it in my wish list i have so many things in my wish list that was like recommended to me but i never actually like decided to play oh shoot among us vr among us vr is coming out holiday 2022 yo wait that's soon wait should i get like, I can't put base stations in my room because my room's too small. But if they were to do a Among Us VR collab, I would buy one of those, like, VR headsets with, like, cameras on the actual headset. So you don't have need to have the base stations. Like, the Quest. <laughs> <laughs> I would buy a I would buy an Oculus Quest if Among Us VR is on there. I would. Wait, but can you do Steam VR and Oculus Quests? I'm assuming Among Us VR is gonna be on Steam. Yeah. Oh, let's go. But, like, I don't think you could stream it, right? Or, or is there ways to stream? You can stream through it? Oh! Okay. You know, it's not the full experience and the full setup, but... I mean, it's only Among Us. <laughs> I, I don't want to miss out on the Among Us VR HopCon if that were to happen. I would... I would buy... Or, hmm. Like, if I try my bestest would my if i put it in the like the very corners of my room like would i be able to i'm just hmm the only issue i have with vr is that my room's like really really small but if i could like Mount it in like the very corners of my room. Maybe I could. Maybe, maybe I could like just like screw it into my walls. Or like 3M double sided tape. Yeah, yeah. Roblox VR. Is that a thing? Enable VR Roblox support. What? Wait, so we could have played the horror games in Roblox in VR? Wait, what? 
That's insane. That's insane. Oh, we do I get... You know, I upgraded my GPU so that I could play VR eventually in the future. That was the reason why I up upgraded from a... I had a 1070. But I upgraded to Future Proof for VR. Eventually one day I were to play. So... Hmm... It might not be the worst idea to like... If I buy a VR headset now... And then prepare for Among Us VR... If... <clears throat> if I prepare for Among Us VR... Are we shopping? Oh, I mean, if I wanted to get a... VR headset, I'd probably get the Valve Index. Probably. So there isn't much shopping for me to do, but it's also... A thousand dollars USD. That's a lot of money. With the Valve Index VR kit comes with the headset. Uh, controllers and two base stations. Woo! I mean, this is like the high-end VR, right? So it would, it's supposed to be expensive. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, spending that much. I mean, for Among Us VR... For Among Us VR, honestly worth. But also, it's so expensive. But, um... Apparently, the microphone on... The Valve Index is pretty good for... For streams, so... Honestly, it might be worth. 1k only for Among Us? Well, it's Among Us VR! Isn't that crazy? Among Us VR. VR funds? VR fund? Wait, 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 no, 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 no. I mean, thank you, but... <laughs> thank you for the super chats for VR funds. Thank you, but... Just stop thinking. Yeah, wait, no, okay. I, I won't buy... Wait. Wait, if I buy it... Wait, how long does it take for VR... To ship. Four to eight business days. Okay. So I have time. To think. I'll think about it. I'll think about it a little bit more. Um, I might purchase it the moment they... Like... When they... Okay. I would buy it... Oh my gosh, thank you for the VR funds. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, but I'll... I'll uh, wait, thank you. <laughs> no... Not that much? What do you mean, not that much? Thank you. It, it's not small. If you if you ever super chat, I just want to say it's never small. Any amount you di like super chat, it's, it's never small. It's never small. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. It's never small. But I think I would buy a VR headset the, the moment the release date for Among Us VR is like set and then it'll come in and I'll have some time to test and see if it actually works and hopefully it does right yeah I hope it does and then and then I'll join Among Us VR <laughs> Oh, Black Friday? Oh, does the Valve Index go on sale during Black Friday? Maybe I'll buy it then. Do 
Bigger room fund? Oh my gosh. Out here with real estate funds out here. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Wait, oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you. But, you know, I, I could already... Oh, Labor Day sales. Wait, that's soon. Would the Valve Index go on sale during Labor Day? Just buy a bigger house forehead? Oh. Oh my gosh. You know, one day... I am actually thinking of... Uh... Well, definitely... <clears throat> moving out of this house. Or where I live right now. Because it's pretty small. To a new home eventually. I am thinking of it. Moving out? Just build a house pog? Renting? I don't know. I haven't thought that far, but eventually. But if that happens, then definitely the problem would go away. VR fun. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you. But yeah. It would be nice to do VR streams. I actually don't know what my uh, tolerance for like... VR motion sickness is. Uh... I do know I get motion sick when there's a lot of screen bobbing, but I don't know about VR motion sickness. So, yeah. I only get motion sick when there's a bunch of screen bobbing. So if I turn off the screen bobbing, I, I don't get motion sick at all. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I could always take breaks. And if the VR streams are a little short, it is what it is. I think it should be fine. You can play a few Among Us games before I get sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You get motion sick during Minecraft? Um, I used to. But that was also because when I'm running, my arm's like moving back and forth and that's kind of like bobbing. I get motion sick, like bobbing motion sickness from like a lot of time when there's flashlights that wiggle around because that's pretty much screen bobbing. Or like Minecraft, it's been a lot better usually recently, but like back then, like Every time you run, like, your arm would, like, wiggle around, right? That would make me motion sick sometimes. Motion sickness funds? <laughs> oh, yeah. Isn't there, like, some medicine that would help? Like, over-the-counter medicine, if I have to? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for the funds. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Valorant? Valorant doesn't have any screen bobbing, so I could play Valorant for like hours and I'll be fine. Everything's pretty stationary in Valorant, so I'm fine. Like I like I've had streams where I would play Valorant for nine hours and I'm like completely fine, so it's only screen bobbing. I don't know why it's only screen bobbing, but it's only screen bobbing. It's so weird. I don't get th I don't get sick unless there is screen bobbing. So like when there's like a a setting to like motion sickness prevention setting for any game like that works like wonders for me. I don't I don't get sick at all the moment that's on. Apex uh I don't I don't play Apex like as to Arcadia. <laughs> I play my uh, Apex very methodically, so I, I don't I don't get motion sick. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not bouncy. <laughs> How about Fortnite? I don't play Fortnite. <clears throat> but yeah. That's about how I feel about first person games at, at least, so. It would be fun to try VR, so. It wouldn't be a waste any anyways. Like Among Us VR would be fun, but like overall just trying VR I think would be fun it and it wouldn't be a waste, I think. Mm-hmm. I miss your Valorant stream shoe. Oh, was it Finana and Aster playing together earlier? It would be cool if I could have joined. Maybe another time. <clears throat> I haven't playing Valorant offline though. I just uh haven't done a stream though. It would be fun to. Uh, what do you call it? I also kind of want to level up my my Asian uh, Valorant account so I could play with the folks on in the Asia server. But the but the ping in Asia servers for me is kind of kind of crazy. So yeah, it'd be cr it'd be nice to play with like. Yeah, everyone in in the Asian servers, pretty much. So like, most of Nijisanji, uh, JP, KRID, just like all of them. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> that'll be fun. Mhm. Mm That'd be really fun. And also, I don't really want to play ranked unless it's a... Uh, unless I could actually do comms, so which means I need a 5 stack, so... If anyone wants to 5 stack with me... <laughs> five stacks. Five stacks. <laughs> five stacks, pause champ. You know. That'd be fun. Or like, maybe four stack, and then the, the rando could just do their own thing. <laughs> I could drop you cool skins, bro. Oh, thanks, bro. That's cool, bro. <laughs> you can't four stack in rank, Sag. Unless your ranks are similar, right? Wait, like at all? Oh, well. I mean, five stacks are better, anyways. So. Five stacks would be better, anyways. At all? What the heck? Oh, well, today I learned. All right, five seconds it is. <laughs> Try to look for them. I'll drop you that nice matte black skin. Nice default skin, bro. <laughs> nice default skin, bro. Not bad, not bad. Yo, but my JP account is all default skins because I haven't bought any. So, um, yeah, there's that. Yeah. I mean, there is also the Ian... Ian Valorant hype, question mark? I feel like there's a good amount of people who, who are in Ian right now who are, like, down to play Valorant. They just need someone to ask. If they want to play, you know. 
So I, so I could always be like, Eo Balu. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I do want to play sometime. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. Yeah, maybe soon. Maybe soon. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. There's also a Splatoon 3 launching too, so I want to play that too. So it'd probably probably be those those games that I'd I'd be trying out. Mm-hmm. Pew games. <laughs> Shoo, I'll think about it, Yamino. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if, if if they're uh if Ian wants to hop con Splatoon 3, like Ayo. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Well yeah, but yeah. Think about I'll think about it. <laughs> Hope it goes well. And yeah. I think that's a good place to call it for today. Oh my gosh, I I streamed for almost four hours. Thank y'all so much for the stream today. I didn't expect to talk this much, but it's nice to talk. It's nice to talk again. Here's my... Once again, here's my uh, American School Subjects tier list. Uh, I, uh, I, am, I am probably very wrong in some eyes. <laughs> Especially with the math. I'm sure a lot of y'all would put math in trash tier, but yeah. Thank you for the stream today. Um, I'll be at Anime Impulse tomorrow, so I won't be. Uh, I won't be. What's the word? I don't think I would have a stream because I'll be at Anime Impulse. But if you decided, or if you are. Showing up at Anime Impulse. See you there. Um. And. Yeah. That's all I got today. Um. I'll have my schedule up. Hopefully soon. Um. And. By that time. Uh. Hopefully I could. What do you. Let y'all know what's happening throughout the week. So yeah. Thank y'all so much for the stream today. And. Until next time. I'll see you all on the other side. Bye. 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 See if my raid works today. Bye 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 bye